the first human beings evolved here in Africa, in the Great Rift Valley. A lot of bad things have happened to Africans and people of African descent. We've gone through lots of horrors, you know, we went through slavery, we went through colonialism, and even today we are subjected to the machinations of the global order that produce a lot of pain. The cultural traditions of Africa in itself and the important role it play in uh, the survival, the survivors uh, that, Bob Marley, that Bob Marley speaks about, uh, the traditions of African spirit, spirituality, of African religion that is found in so many of the major rebellions that were waged against slave masters in the Caribbean, in the Americas. Who is an African? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's difficult. African is uh, a, young, a young man, uh, say me. <laughs> I'm African. <laughs> <laughs> Great question. It's a very, very difficult question, actually. Doesn't matter whether your skin is black, yellow, green, or white. Every member of the African continent is an African. We as Africans, have something different from West people. An African is someone uh, who, wherever he is in the world, uh, have an idea and understanding of his identity. Who is an African? I am an African. <laughs> Born in the UK, raised in Africa. I am an African. South Africa belongs to all who live in it, black and white. Africa, the Arab and African relations, each one knows that many Arabs are Africans. An African is anybody who lives in Africa and has ancestors from Africa. Nkrumah's a commitment to a strong united Africa I was obviously very strongly influenced by his student days in the US. You could see that American power was dependent on having um, a strong federal government. We should make sure that those who constitute the big parts of our populations understand the AU. And I think we should join the AU, or we should, you know, give more resource and energy in uh, making information available. This is a problem. Uh, it has been there for a long time now. We came from a very brutal past, and we had uh, millions of problems uh, to deal with. When bad things happen to you, what are your options? You can sit back, become defeatist, decide that nothing is going to go right for you. You can even think that uh, some people do, that some divine intervention has, has declared that that is your position. Um, or you can say you recognize that the bad things have happened to you, but you can also actually say even the people who did the bad things to you, it's not their responsibility necessarily to make amends for what they have done. In final analysis, your future rests with you. So if you don't do something about it, nobody will come and do anything about it. I think the main obstacle is ourselves. We are our own gatekeepers. If we can stand for one and one goal, we can be a great people. A lot has already been achieved through um, uh, interaction uh, between the peoples of Africa. We tend to look at the problem of refugees or the institution of refugees as something new, when, when in reality, uh, one defining characteristic of Africa is precisely migration. I was born in South Africa, but I'm an African child. And every inch of this continent is my home. We must uh, take the best practices that suit us from elsewhere within the world, but we must tend to those with our own realities. Nobody can provide us solutions. They don't even know our problems. We will not be able to survive like this, really. I mean, we, how can we compete? How can Ghana, 23 million, compete with China, the, the EU, the uh, European Union, the United States? It doesn't, it's even, it defies logic. So we are moving toward a good direction. 
I, I think that if, if you travel in the world, you can see that Africa, uh, we, we have, nous avons beaucoup de problèmes. The African thinks to you as us, we, nous. That's the concept of Africa. The West, advanced capitalism, thinks me, myself, alone, my happiness. In Africa, we say our happiness. We will continue with these endeavors until we arrive at a successful conclusion to realize the objectives of Pan-Africanism, the restoration of our dignity, the redrawing of the rules of engagement in politics, in society. Our time has come. Let us stand out and be counted as we move decisively to occupy our rightful place that is opening ahead of us.